Hi, I'm Emma T. Caps, and today I'm going to be demonstrating the technique I use for painting my full page illustrations for Stone Soup Magazine. So for the current story I'm working on, I have two illustrations, and you can see that I've already painted one of them. So today in this video, you're going to see a time lapse of the entire process of painting this illustration here. You can see that right now I've penciled and inked the illustration. What I use for my inking are fixed width technical pens, specifically the brand Copic Multiliner SP in different widths. And for painting, I use a Sakura Koi watercolor field box set with 24 colors. And what's really interesting about this set is it uses a Japanese style where it comes with something called a water brush. And you'll notice this doesn't really look like a traditional brush. That's because here in the barrel, it's filled with water. So when you want to add water to your painting, all you have to do is squeeze and it'll come out on the bristles. That way, you don't have to have any glasses of water about to tip over your painting. I also use sponges for dabbing on my painting and adding texture. I don't know if any other artists use sponges in this way. It's a technique I've developed myself. I also use some traditional brushes, specifically Windsor & Newton Artists Round Sable ones, sizes 0, 0 to 2 for doing detail. And in the video, you'll see me Go over there a lot to change the color on my iPod. I always listen to music when I'm painting. I find that it helps to set the mood in what's normally a very silent and solitary activity. And you'll also see me test my colors over here on what's called a test sheet. Since watercolors aren't opaque, if you make a mistake, you can't just cover it with a different color. So it's vital to have patience and test your colors on a different sheet. And you can see my test sheets for the previous painting are very crazy and covered with colors. So, at the end of the video, this sheet is going to be transformed into one of those as well. Alright, so, I hope you enjoy this video and you learn something from it. Let's get started. stage of creating a watercolor illustration, getting down the base colors for the scene. Base color is a term used for the underlying color that you're going to use in a certain area or shape, and then you build up the shadows and textures to get the full watercolor effect. So currently, I laid the base colors out for my entire picture. I usually find this the most difficult step, because it's when you have to decide how all your colors are going to look and what colors are going to be where. When I do interior scenes, I have a lot of trouble with this because there's unlimited possibilities for the colors that things can be. When I do an outdoor scene like this one, it's a bit easier because I know that trees have to be green and so does grass and buildings might be red brick in this case. So here you can see what I've done. And I've painted it all in. And some colors are very light right now. They're gonna get a lot darker later. So now I get to do my favorite part, which is adding in the shadows and the textures. I really like this part because it's when you take what is a pretty nice painting but is very flat and you turn it into something that looks completely 3D and real. Mm -hmm. 